Hey guys, welcome to part two of the uh, Brown Stadium construction in Cleveland. I am Jamison One, and let's get started. Um, so, if you watched the previous video, part one, we uh, basically finished the general construction of the stands. Uh, today, we're going to be adding the, the video board. I'm probably going to go get materials from my house or uh, find some sand somewhere and uh, smelt that to make a glass block. Um, and we can get started on finishing the video board. Uh, I'm also going to try to get some more torches done in the meantime as well. Uh, there is actually a furnace down in here in downtown that I can use. Um, either at Trey's uh, Cafe down in the uh, lower areas of the city or at the um, house my brother lives in that he owns down here. Since the house I lived in here is no longer functioning with anything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut that road because the Wellington Walk Road is incredibly difficult to navigate on a, anything other than foot. Of course, you can hear the uh, train from the inside of the cafe that just loops around. That's how you can kind of see it through here. Uh, let's go ahead and head into the stadium and get a fence gate, however, built so I can stop that little fart knocker down there from escaping. All right, climbing on it. Get in the stadium, dang it. All right, so here is the crafting bench we had up. We're gonna make a couple of fence gates, which apparently I need more. I need, apparently need more sticks. That's what I need, okay. No biggie. Need more sticks again. All right, so that's the fence gates I need. I'm just gonna take the fall. Why can't I put the... All right, there we go. Crud. Uh. Alright, so I'm just going to re-engineer this just a bit. Even though I can still... Nope, I can't escape. So, he's stuck. This is only one block wide. I might need to engineer my parking spots like that now where I don't have to get in the gate. I can just hop in and open the gates from that side. Now, um, head back up to the stadium. So now, now, I am going to need standard fences. Um... Now that I have those gates built, uh, so I can build the basis for our video board. All right, three should about do it. Uh, we're gonna do them on the second block from each side. Alright, so we've got the two there. I need one more. Of course, I need sticks. Alright. So we have our two sta like stands for the board uh, up here. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put up a block on the edge here so I can get up here now this would be handy for creative mode right here but I'm gonna choose not to use it out of legitimacy purposes so uh, we're just gonna gonna go down the end of the line here until it hits that bit there um, all right now let's move on to the next part which is getting high up All right, I'm gonna go about seven blocks up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rotate here and just continue down the line here until we reach the end. All right, so there's that bit. 
Oof, that was a pretty bad fall. All right, so now our next problem is getting this bit built, which I am still way too low. All right, so there's the basis for the board. Uh, now we gotta get the glass and of course the um, orange wool, maybe. I'm trying to decide what I'll work with there. So uh, that's that's basically the basis of the board. So we have the wood we need we use to construct that bit. Let's go ahead and tear this out and uh, go get us some sand so we can smell some glass. All right. So this we're gonna actually not take the work truck at all. We're gonna go over to the motor rail station, which I'm probably gonna need the truck just to get up there. And we're gonna ride the train to Miami because it is much faster than taking my, than all the way going all the way back to the construction center, picking up my truck, then driving all the way back through downtown in order to get back home. I'm not gonna take the road. So we're gonna head on over to the construction center, drop the work truck off, and walk down to the, uh, Marta station, which is literally right around the corner from the work, from the uh, construction center here. All right, just gonna casually back in. Uh, I apologize for that. My headset's just yeah, it does this all the time. I apologize. All right, so this is the Marta station, and there is no train. Nor is there a furnace. Well, it looks like we're going to have to do this the, the long, a hard way and walk. Because I apparently am an, an, an imbecile and forgot to put a train car here. Uh, luckily for me, the train loops down to Miami fairly quick. And since there isn't really much of a roadblock to run into on the, out here, it should just be a very short walk. I'm just kind of looking forward. I've never, I don't think I've ever shown the motor rail on camera before. So, this is where the train would be going if we were heading to Atlanta. This is, of course, the small, the very small Atlanta station, and uh, of course, the hills by Bobby Dodd Stadium. I kind of like having the train in the back ground. Crap. All right. Well, we've managed to fall into the parking garage here for um, the apartment building there. Well. <laughs> I kind of like having the rails in the background as I was saying because you can kind of watch the games that are going on there of course Bobby Dodd being Bobby Dodd it's a pretty basic construction now of course we're in the Westgate this is the not the Westgate yes this is a Westgate tunnel actually uh, this was actually my very first project building stuff in this game was the Westgate tunnel I built it directly through that hill there into downtown Atlanta now we're in Foxboro we're getting close Probably try to take the train back, however. Not getting stuck. Alright, well we've made it to Miami. Finally, after a, the longest walk in the history of the world. Um, we're at the foothills of the I-905. What we're going to do is we're going to go into downtown and get some sand. Downtown's got better sand. It doesn't really matter to me, but I just feel like going to downtown today. Alright, so we see we've got all this like useless sand here. We're gonna pick it all up. And each block of sand is one block of glass. So knowing uh, I did it again. I did it twice. I torped my torch at the same time. There was one there, and there was one here. Alright, so we're gonna continue on down here. Alright, so for the most part now we've got 
about 20 I'm oh, gonna go about to 30 blocks or so all right that should be about good for now now in the meantime while I'm doing this I'm gonna go find a way to get some torches we're gonna stay the night in the condo building here though um, this room is empty I forgot a few months a few months back disturb 2.0 came in here and was like playing around and stuff and he shattered the windows in my room here oh well all right so we're gonna go ahead and find a place to go smelt these at. Uh, now I'm probably gonna pick out of all places the uh, why can't I get out? Why can't I get out of here? There we go. That was one miscommunication in the building on that was uh, the hole on that. I'm just gonna hop over here on the interstate, hop across that, and head into Green Bay where the uh, I believe the one of the only stations with a full on stop mechanism is that. Of course, Green Bay is probably the quietest city as I haven't built anything down here except for uh, the train station, which is not even operating. So, where's the rail car at? I know there is one around here somewhere. Well, I'll run into it somewhere. Hopefully. Or not. Well, crap. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> but so far, this project's done pretty well. You can kind of see the board back there is starting to take shape. Um, I was kind of hoping we could get some way to ride on over through Indianapolis to the Marta station down in downtown, but nope. The one thing that is kind of interesting about the motor rail construction, though, is that it actually loops back through Indianapolis without stopping at the motor. I apologize again, headset. Um, as I was saying, though, it loops around back through Indianapolis. Uh, and it's pretty neat little construction it has. It uh, doesn't stop at the motor station. At that, that point, it goes to Birmingham uh, and Tuscaloosa and, and transitions to the European motor rail, the European trans rail, or whatever it was called. We're going to throw this in there, and we're going to wait. That'll probably be the next video when I do this. So um, thank you guys for watching part two of the construction of the Brown Stadium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe for more, and I'll have more on this coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.